did during the bye week, TK? I didn't do nothing. I did nothing. I was at club couch. First up, Taylor Swift has taken relationship goals to a whole new level by throwing her boyfriend Travis a mind-blowing birthday bash that reportedly cost $250,000. From lavish designer gifts to renting the legendary Monza racetrack for a day of racing thrills, this celebration is bound to leave you questioning what you would do for love. But that's not all. Kelsey's cheeky TikTok denial about their weekend antics has fans laughing and speculating. What's he really hiding? Just days after dining with Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, this couple is clearly unafraid of flaunting their romance. Meanwhile, whispers of a collaboration between Ryan Murphy and Taylor have everyone buzzing. Is she set to make her triumphant return to acting alongside her football star boyfriend in grotesquery? And speaking of surprises, will we see Taylor pop up on Kelsey's new game show, Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? The anticipation is real. Lastly, we can't ignore the hilarious makeup mayhem. Travis was spotted with Taylor's lipstick smeared all over his face after a romantic date night. Stay tuned as we break down each juicy detail. Taylor's Lavish Love Hold on to your hats, Swifties. Taylor just took gift-giving to stratospheric levels for Travis's 35th birthday. And let's just say, it's giving serious relationship goals. Insider spill that this birthday bash was anything but average. Sure, a cozy dinner would have sufficed for most, but not for our girl Taylor. Nope, she went all out, splurging a jaw-dropping $250,000 on a celebration that left Travis utterly speechless. It started with some serious designer love. Think high-end brands like Armani and Ferragamo showering Travis with goodies, including a $3,895 suede backpack and a sleek $5,800 jacket. But wait, there's more! She even gifted him Cartier watches worth over $60,000. Clearly, Taylor knows how to make sure her man is dressed to impress, especially for those game day moments. Now for the pièce de résistance. Taylor rented the legendary Monza racetrack in Italy for a day of high-speed thrill. Can you imagine? This isn't just any day. It's a chance for Travis to live out his Formula One dreams, complete with private driving lessons. And with whispers of the couple potentially putting down roots in Italy, this gift could signal a future filled with Italian getaways and romantic racing adventures. And because she's Taylor Swift, she didn't stop there. Three bottles of rare wine, each nearly $16,000, rounded out this extravagant birthday haul. As they sip wine and plan their future, fans can't help but wonder if we're witnessing the birth of something epic between this power couple. With Taylor at the helm of gift-giving, the bar has definitely been raised. Kelsey's Cheeky Denial Travis Kelsey just served up some comedy gold, leaving fans in stitches after a recent TikTok moment where he was hilariously dodging questions about his weekend escapades with Taylor Swift. The chief star was asked how he spent his bye week, and let's just say his answer was as playful as it gets. With a cheeky smirk and a nod, he said, I didn't do nothing. I ain't did nothing. Classic. What you did during the bye week, okay? I didn't do nothing. I did nothing. I was at club couch. Fans couldn't help but crack jokes in the comments, likening Kelsey's evasive response to how kids might answer when grilled about their day at school. Seriously, who doesn't remember those classic nothing replies? One user pointed out that Kelsey seemed to think everyone already knew what he'd been up to, especially with social media buzzing about his outings with the pop sensation. The timing couldn't be more perfect. Just days before, the lovebirds were spotted dining with Taylor's good friends Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds in Soho, proving that they're not just keeping their romance under wraps. Hey, guys! Hey, Taylor! Hey, Taylor! 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 Taylor. Their double date at the corner store had all the makings of a Hollywood fairy tale, with the couple looking cozy and utterly smitten. But the fun didn't stop there. They also made headlines at a New York Yankees playoff game, where they were seen enjoying each other's company and indulging in some adorable public displays of affection. As fans swoon over this blossoming romance, Kelsey's lighthearted denials only add to the charm. Is he trying to keep things under wraps or just having fun with the attention? Either way, this couple is keeping everyone entertained. Taylor and Travis's showbiz buzz. Get ready, Swifties and Kelsey fans, because the buzz around Taylor and Travis just hit an exciting new level. 
Ryan Murphy, the mastermind behind hit shows like Glee and American Horror Story, recently spilled the tea about potentially teaming up with Taylor. In an interview, he revealed that he's been chatting with her team over the years and he'd jump at the chance to collaborate if she could fit it into her jam-packed schedule. Who wouldn't want to see Tay on screen with that kind of creative genius? While it's all talk for now, it's worth noting that Taylor had some acting chops, having appeared in Cats and Amsterdam. But let's not forget that she's been stealing the spotlight with her relationship with Kelsey, who's currently starring in Murphy's latest venture, Grotesquerie. The connection here? Murphy sweetly described Taylor and Travis as a pop culture phenomenon, and it's hard not to agree when they seem to dominate every headline. What's even juicier is the little nod to Taylor in Grotesquerie. In a dreamy scene, Kelsey's character Ed Lachlan and Niecy Nash Betts' character escape in a red convertible, which fans quickly connected to one of Taylor's beloved tracks, Getaway Car. Swifties are all about those Easter eggs, and you can bet they're buzzing with excitement over this subtle reference. As Taylor continues to shine in her own right while supporting her boyfriend, the question remains, could we be witnessing the birth of a Hollywood power couple? With rumors swirling and their undeniable chemistry, fans are left dreaming about a future where these two are both on and off the screen together. Taylor's Game Show Surprise? OK, Swifties and football fans, get ready for some exciting speculation. Travis is heating up the small screen with his new prime video game show, Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity?, where contestants rely on a classroom of celebs to tackle elementary school questions. And while Taylor Swift hasn't graced the show yet, fans are already buzzing about the possibility of her making a surprise appearance. Can you imagine Taylor tackling questions about music or history with her signature charm? Iconic! The show is already a riot, with Kelsey's natural hosting skills shining through as he moves between questions and celebrity antics. The format is simple yet addictive. Contestants climb a money ladder by answering questions from grades 1 to 5, and if they nail all 10, they get a shot at a whopping $100,000 sixth grade question. Plus, who wouldn't want to cheat off a panel that includes comedians and sports stars like Nikki Glaser and Ryan Fitzpatrick? Talk about a star-studded classroom! Now, while Taylor hasn't appeared in the first three episodes, the door is wide open for a cameo in the remaining 17. And let's be real, with her busy schedule and the couple's playful rapport, it feels like it's only a matter of time before she pops in to cheer Travis on. The show's already hinted at his thriving life in some cheeky exchanges, like when Glazer joked that Travis could use a little motivation in both love and career, maybe a not-so-subtle nod to his superstar girlfriend. So keep your eyes peeled, folks. The chances of seeing Taylor show off her smarts, or just having some fun, on Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity are definitely in the cards. Who knows what kind of entertaining surprises await us as the episodes roll out. Makeup Mayhem Oh boy, Taylor and Travis are turning heads again, but this time it's not just their undeniable chemistry. It's the smudged makeup on Travis's face after what looks like some passionate kissing. Just when the breakup rumors seem to bubble up again, this power couple is back on the scene, showing off some serious PDA during their recent dinner date in NYC. Spotted at the Waverly Inn, the pair were clearly enjoying their time together, but fans couldn't help but notice that Kelsey had a little extra glow, thanks to Taylor's makeup. His face was smeared with her highlighter, making him look like he had just walked off the set of a comedy sketch. Social media went wild, with one fan hilariously pointing out, Nice nose highlighter, Trav. The comment section turned into a full-on roast, with others chiming in about Taylor's makeup artist probably tearing their hair out at the site. It's not just a highlighter, either. Fans noted that it seems like Taylor's past boyfriends also had to deal with the aftermath of her makeup sessions. Why doesn't her MUA ever use setting spray on her nose? Someone asked. And another commented on the stash burn Travis was sporting, which is just too funny. One user joked, Taylor the red-nosed reindeer while another admired his lipstick choice. The banter is pure gold. Clearly, these two are living their best lives together, and who wouldn't want to get caught up in a little makeup smudge while stealing kisses from one of the world's biggest pop stars? Keep the PDA coming, you two. Fans can't get enough of this cute, messy love story. Kelsey Brothers Roast Lively Travis Kelsey and his brother Jason brought their signature playful banter to their New Heights podcast when they dove into the world of chick flicks, specifically 2005's Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. The film, which stars Travis's girlfriend Taylor Swift's bestie Blake Lively, was the brothers' first movie pick for their newly introduced movie club segment, and of course, they didn't hold back on the teasing. The siblings, known for their football prowess, had a lot to say about the movie, especially about Blake Lively's character Bridget. Jason couldn't resist poking fun at Blake's running scenes, 
His playful jab had Travis cracking up, adding, She has good endurance, though. Running like that and to be talking? I'd be gassed and way worse at trying to spit my lines out. Clearly, the Kelsey brothers didn't miss a beat when it came to blending humor with their observations. As much as they roasted Blake, the duo also gave credit where it was due. Travis praised Lively's wonderful performance, even admitting he might be a bit biased because she's his girlfriend's pal. Jason, too, acknowledged the strong acting and even got emotional during certain parts of the movie. I teared up a little, he confessed, though he quickly clarified that no one else noticed. His playful roasting of the movie's plot didn't end there, though. He lamented the lack of screen time for the actual traveling pants before his wife stepped in to explain the deeper symbolism of friendship those jeans carried. The Kelsey brothers' banter was as entertaining as ever, with Jason also joking about how they landed on such a movie in the first place. Ultimately, while they may have fun teasing Lively's athleticism and Bridget's emotional storyline, it's clear that the brothers had an unexpectedly good time watching Sisterhood. And who knows, this may not be the last we see of the Kelsey movie club, though Travis did jokingly swear off letting fans pick the next film. Pants really didn't have much to do with the plot. I'm a little bit upset that the pants were the storyline. I see what you're saying. Kinda? I thought it was an interesting movie, a coming-of-age story that kept my attention enough. They were tied into, you know, the adventures of everyone. That's what really tied all the stories together, I feel like. Even though they had been friends. And then Kyle's like, you idiot, it's a symbol that their friends are always <laughs> with them. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. And when they didn't, and they were just a pair of, like, jeggings that fit everybody's shape. It was a little bit disappointing. Guess I kind of get the pants. I wanted the pants to be more of a major part of it. I wanted them to be like actually have magic in some way. And everyone had just a specific thing that happened to them when they had them on. It was like the first pair of pants that had like spandex in it or something like that in 2005. The stretchy ones. And they ones. were like, wow, how do we all fit these jeans? It's called stretchy jeans. Get used to it, girls. <laughs> That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you next time.